Hello everybody, welcome to Julian Tech TF. This is the new YouTube channel. Yeah, it's go I'm, I'm going solo. It's gonna be... So a lot of y'all know me as, you know, someone that built, built PCs. You've seen me build $4,000 PC, $2,000 PC, $500 PC, even $400 PC. So guess what's the next number? $300! Haha, <laughs> you think I cannot, right? You think I cannot, but we will see. I think bare minimum is playing games like League of Legends, Dota, and CSGO. Because I feel like these three games, you should be able to play. If you cannot even play these three games, then I think it's not a gaming PC. Unless you're playing indie games, lah, which I don't know. Lah. I don't know. I don't know. I want to buy a base PC and improve it, not just on parts but on aesthetics. You need a CPU, a uh, motherboard, GPU, storage, RAM, power supply, case, and sometimes you need Windows 10. I think that's it, right? Did I miss anything? Did I say GPU? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. We're gonna just try to find the parts now, okay? I have this PC, Acer desktop PC. Very doable, very doable. What the hell, yeah? <laughs> his, his SSD is just hanging there. Power supply is 400. It definitely won't take in a GPU, so I don't think I can get this. Okay, this one. Ooh, this one. Interesting. Interesting. Huh? So this PC is a Dell i5 processor gaming PC, but bushy one. Uh. Usually it's not gaming PC. It says it has a GPU. I think it's one of those like lousy GPU. I ended up getting this PC because it's a pretty good deal. $200 and I can do more than just build the PC. It has plastic that turn yellow, so I can kind of make it white for the video. I mean, I guess it's fun. Here's me collecting the PC. I'm in Serangoon. I got the PC here. Look at the very nice white. I just want to check what's inside. Side, you know, he said there's graphic card for gaming. Huh. Okay, I got it up. I got it up. Oh, already got a graphic card for game. <laughs> it's not for gaming, lah, but it is a graphic card. That is bad. That is bad. There's two hard drives. There's, there's a problem here. The PSU can't handle a proper graphic card. But you know what? At least it can take a graphic card. We're gonna go back home and see what we can do with this. There is no PCIe power. I think that's the thing that's 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 shit lah. Seems like I can't just replace it. I need to buy a power adapter so that I can put this uh, Molex 4 pin to a PCIe 6 pin. The seller said it was a third gen i5. Let's see whether he's right. He he's right. Third gen i5. That's very nice. Wow. We bought this for two hundred dollars, so we have one more hundred dollars to get a GPU and also to power the GPU. But if we look at this, we have power supply, motherboard, RAM, CPU, storage, case, Windows 10 for two hundred dollars. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. To give you a little bit of perspective, if you were to buy a fresh Windows 10, that would already be hundred and thirty dollars. Look at that. I mean, look at that. This is gonna take a few days to, to do, but what I'm gonna do is research on how to get the yellowish out a cable to change the Molex to, to PCIe power lah, so that we can get a proper GPU and um, I think it's good. We're gonna we're gonna try to find a GPU. 24 hours later. Okay, so I'm actually out for having lunch and I actually got a deal. That's why I'm taking a, 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 I'm using my phone to, to vlog about this. There's only two Molex cable in that uh, PC. The restriction I have is that I only can have one PCIe 6 pin. I actually, while having lunch, found a buyer around the area with a 960. 6 pin GPU. And I'm gonna get it. Alright, here's the GPU. You can see that's one 6 pin PCIe. It's a, a unique graphic card because it's from a pre-built PC. Yeah, it looks like the Founders Edition, you know, like the from NVIDIA. I mean, it is from NVIDIA, but it's a ASUS. Yeah. Three days later. This project is taking way too long. My bleach is not here yet. It's don't know how day what already. I got, I got my cable for my GPU. We're gonna install the new GPU. Actually, I'm very surprised with the 640 GT. I was thinking it won't even run games at 10 FPS, but it did run CS at 40, Dota at like 42, so it's not too bad. So the thing about Molex, right, it, it, it has 35 watts each and a PCIe 6 pin has a watts of 80. So you actually don't have enough watts. But you know what? Underpowering is not as bad as overpowering, right? And if I'm doing something wrong, please leave in the comment section below. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna put this... Wait, what? How did it boot? Okay, but never mind. I'll put this in first. And... Uh, oh no. My lights. If there's smoke, I'm f***ed. But let's go. 
Fan seems to be working. That's a good sign, right? This is not a good sign. It's not working. The fans are all running, but it's just it's just not working. So I have to research on why it's not. A few moments later. It's working. I think there is a priority SETA with the hard drive. So there's zero, one, two, three. So I just switched the SETA and now it's working. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, update the drivers. Superposition benchmark. Two days later. Another day. Okay. So I already run the benchmark. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Definitely can play games. And my bleach is here to get the yellow out. Get the white back lah, basically. And this is a secret thing that I got, okay? I got an SSD for $29. The budget now is $4 off by freaking hell. I'm gonna get SSD that's $300 for this PC. So the next thing I need to do is take out all the components so that I can uh, take out the top part because the, the, the front part is easy to take out but I need all the components to be out before I can take this top part. So I'll dismantle, I actually took out the CPU cooler so that I can re thermal paste the CPU. Why you use this hair bleach is because it contains hydrogen peroxide. If you want to try this at home, do be careful, don't get this on your skin. You need a combination of hydrogen peroxide and UV light. My UV light is not here yet, it will come next week, but I have no time to wait until next week, man. Then when is this video gonna come out? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wake up early, 11 a.m., put this on, and then put it outside my house where it's the afternoon sun and just leave it there for like six hours. Okay, it's a new day, it's still in the morning, so people are still sleeping. For some comparison, you can see how yellow this is to that. And there's a, there was a sticker here and you can see the difference. Let me try to do this with one hand first, okay? I'm gonna pour a bit here. Brush, 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 brush. Brush, 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 brush. Brush, 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 brush. After this, I'm gonna clean wrap this whole thing so that it don't evaporate. I'm gonna put it here for, put it here, yeah, here it has less shape. I'm hoping that no one steals this. And the results are in, it's freaking amazing. It's not exactly like really white, but it's, look, look at that. Look at that. I'm very surprised that it worked. Here's the funny thing, I had to use the sunlight, right? The UV light came. But you know what I can do with it? You know what I can do with it? Do you know what I can do with it? Yes, I did it. It took so long. It's not 100% white. Yet, yeah, but I think that's because the plastic was not exposed evenly to the sunlight. But an improvement indeed. You can like really see the improvement, right? Right, 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 right. Before I get into the benchmarking, let's sum up all the parts. I bought the fabulous YTC PSU Intel i5-3450 CPU, a motherboard, a HDD, and Windows 10 for $200. I got the GTX 960 for $75, the one with the 6 pin. Uh -huh. I got the 256 gigabyte, gigabyte SSD for $29, totaling the whole cost $304. Yeah, $4 only. There were other costs like the bleach, but I wouldn't consider that a part of the price since it's more aesthetics than performance. Plus, it was an experiment that I wanted to do anyway. But do comment if you want to see an in-depth tutorial of how to whiten plastic cases. So now, the benchmarking. I used the Unigine Superposition to benchmark the 640 GT, the original GPU that came with the PC. You can see a 300% improvement with the GTX 960. You can also compare it with the $400 PC I did last year. You also can compare it with a modern day $2,000 PC with the 2070 Super with the i7-700. Yeah, see that right? Yes. Ah, uh, but, but Julian, what about the actual games? Uh? I'm glad you asked. I benchmarked a few popular multiplayer games and one AAA games to see how they perform. It ran League of Legends and Dota 2 and even Valorant with no problems on low and max settings, but did struggle on CSGO on max settings. And I'm guessing it's because CSGO is a CPU intensive game and the i5-3450 cannot meet CSGO's demands. For Division 2, the AAA game, it really struggled big time, doing an average of 50 FPS on the lower setting and 19 
FPS on the max. Division 2 is somewhat playable on this computer, I guess considering that PS4 and Xbox One can only do mostly 30 frames per second on 1080p for most AAA games anyway. Overall, I think it's a win. Good job, YPC. <laughs> At the end of the day, you get what you pay for. $300 for secondhand parts is a risk and it paid off for me. If any of you want to do something like this, I encourage you to do it with caution. Make sure you know what you're doing and know that the PC components are compatible with each other. Plus, you probably won't have warranty of any of the parts. But if you have $300 lying around, I'll say it's a fun activity to do by yourself if you like PC building or like a father and son thing you can do or even maybe a mother-daughter thing, you know, no discrimination. I hope you enjoyed my first video on this channel. I have set up a Patreon, so if you want to support me, come support me by being a Patreon. You will get to see videos like this one day before everyone else. Plus, you'll be credited in my videos. Like, you know, after the video, I put the, your name. Someone, something like that. Huh? Something like that. So, uh, very happy. So, thank you guys. Yes, I'm very happy with the PC. I guess, yeah. So, with that, and we're done.